there's definitely um, use of data and fantastic use of data in many circumstances. Does it stifle creativity? You know, possibly. I think that people, some people could hide behind data and definitely interpret it in the way mm. that they feel yeah. aligns to their yeah, view. Yeah. I've definitely had that. And I think also with journalism, because there's a lot of talk about could you automate mm. journalism, but actually part of uh, the, the purpose is to um, provide what we believe is important. And if you fully automate everything, actually, you're just presenting facts. You're not really presenting the analysis and the commentary. And, and so I think that we're a long way off being able to use data to fully replicate that. But what we do is we provide insight. It's the intelligence, isn't it? It's the dashboard intelligence. To, 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 yes, exactly. To allow them to do the best decision making yes. they can, but not to be driven by no. the data, because I think that would be quite dangerous. I, I mean, I would agree 100%. I think w we're really only on the first steps of the data sort of journey. We've got a lot of people who came out of uh, the, the first generation of data science, which was really around the former business intelligence and management information yeah. mindset of an organisation. Um, you can make a set of inferences and, you know, and uh, interpretive decisions based on that. But the real sort of the goal would be complete end to end event data right the way through to back end data to be able to properly analyze the flow of information across your organization, not just say, I'm going to build a data data lake because I'm going to throw everything in there and then I'm just going to hope that through some form of serendipity, this wonderful answer will come out. It won't. You've got to mature your understanding of a data, where your data has come from, the provenance of that data. You need to you know, think about its entire lifestyle and then, it doesn't mean you can't make some interpretive decisions now, but the richness is going to come not when you are blindly and systematically just following the data, but when you have enough insight to be able to say, actually, the combination of that and that with what I know gives me this 